so next you see the next order is your what order orthoptera okay what is the example what do you think what is the example of order orthoptera you see so grasshopper catadids cricket and mole cricket okay these are the example of orthoptera one by one we will discuss now you see so the synonyms are your what saltatoria or saltatoptera etymology ortho means straight and tera means wings okay you see there are different common names like grasshopper catadids locust crickets and mole crickets okay these are the example You see, this is the grasshopper. Now, who can tell you? You see, this is the antenna. Yes or no? Here, what happens? Uh, suppose a long question will come in general. Okay, in your exam, a long question may come. They will tell uh, briefly describe about characteristics of order Orthoptera with example. How can you specify the characteristics? Who can tell? You tell me. From this picture, how can you tell? You just tell. What are the points you can write down? First thing is, what is coming? You see. Antenna, they have which type of antenna? Here you can easily see that is your filiform antenna. They have one pair of compound eyes, they have three number of simple eyes. Then going to this mouth part, they have mandibular type of mouth part. Yes or no? Again, you can write down this is which type of mouth part that is your <coughs> hypognathus type. Yes or no? They are having a saddle sub, you see, just like a horse that area. Yes or no? We use the saddle now to sit on the <coughs> ride on the horse, just like saddle shaped. Pronotum will be there. Four leg, mid leg are which one? Working type ambulatorial. And the hind leg is for saltatorial. Yes or no? Jumping type of legs. Four wings are your which one? Tegmina. Yes or no? Hind wings are membranous. Okay. One pair of sorci will be there. Huh? How many points I told? Some seven to eight points I told simply by remembering the picture. Okay. Like this, you have to write down. You start from the antenna and at some uh, sursi okay they have uh, what 10 to 11 number of abdominal segment one story you can write down then some more story like in the female eighth and ninth one is gentle uh, organ will be there in case of male ninth one will be there like this you make 10 to 12 points full mark you will get understood but suppose what will do in grasshopper piercing and shocking type of mouth part is there then simply they will give you two out of ten understanding so you see uh, now mouth parts are mandibulate Okay, only those things are written, you see. Prothorax is large. This is the prothorax here, you can see, very large. Yes or no? Pronotum saddle shaped, just like you keep it on the horse na, for riding. Yes or no? Is core ventrally covering the pleural region. Yes or no? You see, ventrally covering the, it is covering the whole. Pleuron is this side. Yes or no? This they are covering. Yes, this is an inverted picture. Hind legs are saltatorial for jumping. Yes or no? Four leg, mid leg, hind leg. Hind leg for jumping and four and mid legs are your, for your, what your walking type, ambulatorial. Yes or no? You see, huh? This is the pronotum. Mesothorax, metathorax will be there. From each thoracic segment, one pair of legs are coming. This is the saltatorial type of legs. You see, four wings are leathery, thickened and known as tegmina. Yes or no? Tegmina, they are capable of bending without uh, breaking. They can be bent and rest over the abdomen. Hind wings are membranous. Here you can see, hind wings are membranous, use useful for flight. Next, you see, sursi are short and unsegmented. Short and unsegmented. Here you can see, okay. Ovipositor is well developed in the female. Here you can see, ovipositor is well developed. Okay. Metamorphosis is gradual, porometabolous. That means X stage will be there, nymphs will be there, adult will be there. What is the difference in between nymph and adult? Only the body size, presence or absence of wings, capable or incapable of reproduction. That is the only difference. See, in many orthoparents, what happens? The newly hatched first stage, the nymphs are covered by a loose cuticle. Okay, and are known as pronymph. This one, huh? it will be covered with a loose cuticle. That means. <coughs> The body parts are not very free, just like second instar. Yes, and that's why this first instar nymphs are known as what are pronyms. Okay, wing pad of nymphs undergo reversal during 
your development reversal if what will happen the wing pads will be developed okay they have two type of things regarding uh, sound production another one is hearing one is they're capable of producing the sound second one is they're capable of receiving the sound how they produce this town sound by this femoral alary type or alary type how they hear the sound either by this tympanal organ tympanum organ where it is present in few cases in the first abdominal segment in few cases in the four tibia this is the four leg in the four leg this is the tibia and here your tympanum organ will be there what you understood two things are there one is sound producing organ another one is sound receiving organ sound receiving organ is your which one tympanum sound producing is it is two types one is femoral alary type that means here what will happen femur of the hind leg and alar region of the wing they will be rubbed so that the sound will be produced one more is the alary type here what will happen only two wings will be rubbed this is known as what your alary type only wings are useful i will show you the video that you can easily understand the things properly understood up to this yes sir you see this uh, orthopter is divided into two suborder califera and cifera califera means what antenna is shorter with less than 30 segments and uh, that means short on grasshopper here the antenna will be shorter that much you remember tympanal organ present on first abdominal segment tarsi not more than three segmented this is not that much important point okay here the ovipositor is short here the ovipositor is long okay in case of califera eggs are laid in group at a place so many eggs here single single eggs will be laid in the ensifera then uh, this califera feed on dicotyledon plants these are feeding on the monocotyledon plants they rely on crypsis that means to escape from the predator here they will rely upon jumping to escape from the predator okay tactile response is well developed the mechano one and here the vision and hearing uh, organ are well developed these are diurnal active during daytime these are nocturnal active during night time you see under califella suborder one family is their acrididae the insect are sought on grasshopper and locust here ensifera family is grylidae tetigonidae and your grylotalpidae here you see califera acrididae sought on grasshopper and locust in ensifera you see three families are there tetigonidae longhorn grasshopper catadids bush cricket grylidae crickets uh, Grylotalpidae, mole crickets, one by one we will discuss now. So, how many families are there? Four families are there. How many suborder are there? Two suborder are there. Under suborder Califera, Acrididae family. Under suborder Ensifera, Tetigonidae, Grylidae, and Grylotalpidae family is there. Very, very important. In general, this long question come in the exam. Most frequently, this question came in the exam. Briefly describe about characters of order orthoptera mentioning the example. You need to write down everything. Okay. So you see the first family is Acrididae, short on grasshopper and locust. Antenna is filiform everywhere. Pronotum subtle shaped, you know. Yes or no? Tympanal organ present on the first abdominal segment. Sound production is femoral alary type. That means what will happen? You see, this is the femur. Yes or no? This is the outer femur. So inside the femur part is there they will be rubbed with the hard radial vein of the tagmina okay for wing when these two parts are rubbed with each other then what will happen sound will be produced femur of the leg and alary that means of the wing two things are rubbed that's why it is known as what your femoral alary type of stridulation stridulation means where of what your sound production understood yes sir so you see, uh, hind legs are modified for jumping. Already told, so many times I told, saltatorial, tarsus three segmented, not that much important. Opposter is short, horny and well developed. Okay, its valves are short and not important. Okay, these are plant feeder. They will feed on the plant like rice grasshopper and rice small grasshopper. Okay, you see this is the uh, locust and this is the your grasshopper. Okay, in general, uh, there is no that much difference. You see both are short on grasshoppers only. But grasshopper means what? What, the, what happens? They are solitary. Individually, individually, they will move. Locust means what will happen? That is a group. Gregarious. Huh? At a time, they will move to long distance. And whatever the plants they will come across, they will feed on them completely, deserting the way. Heard at the end of Corona. Yes or no? There was a forthcoming that 
this uh, from Africa, this low cost will come and how much damage they can cause that cannot be predictable. That means simply they will fly, 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 whatever the plants they are coming across, simply they will go on feeding, they will go on multiplying and they will increase their mass and they will go on up to their favorable climatic situations. Next you see family Tetigonidae, okay, example are here for longhorn grasshopper, Ketidids and Boost Cricket. Okay, long on grasshopper, catadids and boost cricket. Okay, cryptic coloration here you can see just like a leaf. Antenna is long, longer than the body you see. That's why the name is long horn. You see how much bigger. But here you see short horn grasshopper. This is your long horn grasshopper. Yes or no? Sound production is allery type. A thick region wings. on the hind margin of the forewing. Forewing is there at the hind teeth. margin. Okay, a the scrapper road. will be there. It will be rubbed on fat. Teeth on the stridulatory file present on the ventral side of another His forewing. Okay, I will show you the video. Edge. This is known right as what your allery type of sound production. Okay, it will produce a sound. When he okay. rubs his wings together, the scraper on the bottom wing grates across all those teeth on the top wing. Researchers call it stridulation. Here it is slowed down. His wing strokes happen faster than your eye can see. For the auditory organs are found in the four tibia. I have shown you the picture there. Yes or no? In the four tibia, auditory organ will be there. Okay. And opposter is sword like. Okay. Mainly herbivorous, but sometimes carnivorous also. Herbivorous means plant feeders. Carnivorous means they will feed on other insect, especially on other insect egg. Okay. You see. Uh, there is one species, uh, surface grasshopper, conocephalus indicus, okay, very destructive to crops. They are used as food by natives of Africa and uh, your Egypt, okay. Longhorn grasshopper, catadids and your bruise crickets, okay. Next you see family Gryllidae, example is your fat cricket, antenna is long, tarsus four segmented, not that much important. Opipositor is slender and needle like. This is important. Needle like opositor present in which insect? That is your Gryllidae crickets. Okay. Four wings are abruptly bent down to cover the side of the body. Hind wings are acuminate reduced. Okay. They are produced into a pair of long process which project beyond the abdomen. It will be hidden by the tegmina. Okay. Sursi are long, unsegmented, and needle like. Auditory organ, stridulatory organ are similar to that of longhorn grasshopper. That means all under your encephalae, all are same. All are allery type of stridulation. All are your four tibia is the tympanum organ. Economic importance, grylo species, household pest. You see, this is the cricket. Yes or no? Only tegmina is visible, and your hind wings are reduced. Okay, you see a needle like. Okay. This is this one, I need it like your search is there. Your opposter is well developed. Okay. So you see the last one, family Gryllotalpidae, and here it is the example. Here you can see very brown colored insect. The pronotum is highly enlarged, and this is the four pair of legs. Yes or no? This type of leg is known as who can tell? You have discussed, you have drawn this leg. Which leg? Fossorial legs. Yes or no? Digging type of legs. Huh? Four legs are fossorial. And hind legs are generally or cursorial, useful for running. Hind wings are extended beyond the tegmina as a pair of processes. Okay. A special structure, uh, here sound production organ is absent. And tympanum organ is found on, on the order surface of, uh, you see, on the tibia only it will be there. Surface of the tibia only it will be there. Okay. Opposter is vestigial, reduced. Okay. Economic importance. They borrow into the soil, feed on tender root of the growing plant. Also, they are the, what? Storing pest, household pest. अच्छा सुनो, subscribe करते वक्त ना घंटी बजा देना, ताकि जब मैं online आऊँ, तो तुम्हारे phone की भी घंटी बजे.